Hey friends, welcome to Only Little Coder. Today in this short tutorial, we are going to learn how to run your C++ code on Visual Studio Code Mac version in 2022. Why 2022? There are a lot of outdated tutorials on the same topic on YouTube and elsewhere on internet. So I wanted to make a fresh tutorial on how easy it is to run C++ code on Visual Studio Code, VS Code. VS Code is ID name if you are on Mac. So first thing that we need to make sure is we're going to make sure that we have all the dependencies. Second, we're going to install the required extension. Third, we're going to run a sample VS Code program. Additionally, I'm also going to show you how you can enable the debugger using VS Code, like if you're using a C++ code. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. The first thing that you have to make sure is you need to make sure that you have got G++ installed. Most likely if you're using Linux or Mac, G++ and also CLang, should be already available when you get the machine. So you might not have to install this separately. But if you do not have any of these two, make sure that you're installing G++ or CLAN. Now, after that, you have to make sure that you've got Visual Studio Code installed. More importantly, also check if your Visual Studio Code is available on Path. What do I mean by that? When you type code on your terminal, it should ideally open Visual Studio Code. So this is to make it easier for you to open your Visual Studio Code. If you do not know how to do this, I've got a separate tutorial to add code to the path, so which I'll link it in the YouTube description, which is very Mac specific. Now that we know that we have got the compiler ready, we have the ID, which is Visual Studio Code ready. Now we have to open a folder. We have to open a working folder, working directory, and then we have to add our C++ code. So I'm going to create a simple directory, a folder called C++ sample. And inside that, I'm going to just do code space. Okay, first I have to enter the uh, folder. After I enter the directory, you can see that now I'm inside C++ sample, cpp underscore sample. I'm going to do code space dot. And at this point, it's going to open Visual Studio Code for me with the folder open. I'm going to click new file, text file, and paste the code that I've got. It's a very simple code, simple C++ code that helps us print fifth multiplication table. So you've got i n is equal to five, sorry, int n is equal to five, and then you're iterating with a for loop, and then you're going to return. So now that we have the code pasted, I'm going to save the file. I'm going to say uh, multiply five dot cpp, and then I'm going to save it. So now everything that we want is here. But the final thing is we want to make sure that we have the required extensions installed. What are the extensions? The first extent extension that you need to install is C slash C++. This is from Microsoft. Make sure that it is from Microsoft. This will help you run the C++ code, like connect the existing compiler on your machine to VS code and then run the code. The second extension that you want is if you're going to use VS code to develop professional C++ code, not, not just for hobby projects or not just for university, then it's helpful to have C++ extension pack. So there are two files that we have installed, two extensions, VS Code extensions. One is C++ extension. The second one is C++ extension pack. At this point, we have everything that we want. Close the screen and then I'm going to show you how to run. So the easiest thing is if you have everything ready, you would see this icon. And this icon has two options. One is run with debugging. The second one is run without debugging. I'm going to select only run. And when I select that, it is going to ask me to select the compiler that we want to use. So this might differ based on the list of compilers that you have got. So this is all the compilers that you've got on your machine. So I'm going to click this and you can see that it is going to run the code. It's going to build. And after that, it's going to just ask, can I, can I access your folder? Click OK. And then you can see the multiplication table is done. And then you can see the entire output available. For example, if you change the code, um, instead of five into 10 is equal to 50 to five into five maximum, save it, go back again, run it, and then you can go to the debug console. So click okay. When you go to the debug console, you would see until five. So we have successfully learned how to use, how to run Visual Studio Code, sorry, how to run C++ code on Visual Studio Code, VS Code at this point. If you want to, select different compilers. You can always select different compilers using the gear icon. Then you can select whatever compiler you want. Like, like this is, this will give you the configuration. And also if you have not noticed, you would have seen that after we started running it, 
you have launch.json and tasks.json so here you can go make some changes like how do you want to run it what kind of compiler you want to use it all those things you can make changes like why if you are going to run very basic c++ code this shouldn't matter a lot but if you're going to do something uh, professionally um you know like as part of your career job then it might make sense for you to do at this point we have successfully learned how to run visual studio c++ on visual studio code so the one more thing that i wanted to tell you is how to debug now a lot of people usually use uh, c c out print statement equivalent to do debugging but if you want to do professionally i mean like if you want to use debuggers that will show you a couple of information that's what i'm going to show you the first thing that you need to do before you could debug is set a breakpoint okay so like when you hover here you can see this red color dot and i'm going to set a breakpoint so i've set a breakpoint here so now what is a breakpoint in simple english when you run a debugger a breakpoint is a place where the debugger would stop every time and then you can actually iterate through it and then you can see it so now what i'm going to show is i'm going to click here and then debug couple of other options how you can do is you can go to run and then say start debugging or you can press f5 so you can either do here go click run start debugging or you can press f5 or you can go here and then debug whatever you want to do you can do it i'm going to just do start debugging now you can see okay it says this does not exist because um because the debugger is not configured properly that's fine so we can we can go here and then select debug c++ file and uh, that should work so either way it should work so you can see that the debugger has started and you can see that the code is available here at this point and you can see a couple of options what are the options that you see uh, forget about registers for now uh, you can see main important thing is variable what are the variables that you have got in your current session you've got two variables one is n the second one is i and at this stage your n value is 5 your i value is 1 okay so now you can go forward when you go forward you can go to the output sorry you could go to the debug and then see 5 into 1 equals 5 so now you could go forward again and now your i value is 2 now you're going to next when you go forward you would see c out because you're actually going out so your i is still 2 and then you could go 3 then it is printed you could go all the way properly and then you could run the entire thing so this is how you would use debugger on vs code if you want to debug your c++ code this should be extremely handy and it is a very good tool to learn if you are going to use um, i mean if you are going to use any id it's always good to know how you can use the debugger in the id what we did in this video quick summary is first we understood if we have in a, the right set of dependencies on our Mac to run a, VA, a C++ code, we checked G++, we checked C Lang compiler, we checked whether we have Visual Studio in code installed. We also checked whether code is available on path. Then we created a sample directory, uh, I mean temporary directory. We added the code C++ code inside it. Then we learned that we need two extensions. Uh, one is mandatory, the other one is optional. C++ extension uh, for your Visual Studio code. Then we went ahead and then ran the code without debugging. Then we learned how to set a breakpoint and finally ran the code with debugging and also saw how the debugging option helps us in debugging, of course. If you have got any questions or doubts, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this video helps you and clear your doubts about how to run C++ on VS Code in 2022 without a lot of dependencies. Quite straightforward. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.